Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the last half of July. Well, look at them just a flying right out. First card that flew out was Throne position of authority so apparently you're going to be sitting on some sort of throne you are in a position of authority scales keep your life in balance so may also be dealing with a libra it doesn't have to be there could be some justice that is coming to you um you're in a position of authority let's get one more card because i feel like we should one more card. oh there it is boy they're just a Spirit's talking to you. Ooh, this one's not so good, but it's always good and bad. <laughs> Broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's not for you. Who knows? Keep your life in balance. Position of authority. There is a wish that is not being granted. I don't know who that's for though. Let's see. Ooh, caution. We got some caution tape here. So there's a beware. Be really aware. Beware. Caution. There's something that you need to be careful of. Now you could also be dealing with the law with that scales. You could be dealing with a law. So there could be some legal issues. There could be somebody that, I don't know if you're dealing with a judge because of that throne. I just was thinking, I just pictured a judge behind a desk, you know, behind their, well, I guess it's their desk anyhow. So I don't know if you're dealing with a judge. Ooh, there's some unfaithfulness here. I don't know if there, somebody has a new sexual partner and they get caught or something like that. I don't know. There is a new sexual partner here, however that resonates with you. We got somebody here that is being unfaithful and there is a need to beware, okay? Um, interesting, very, very, very interesting. So let's get some more cards. What do we have for Sagittarius? I'm wondering if the law somehow could be karma. Scales can, you know, justice could be, there's some sort of something is happening. Something is happening. Um, and I think that there is a need to be where, okay? We got somebody here that is being unfaithful in some way. And unfaithful doesn't have to be in a sexual manner. It can be in other ways. All right. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? First card out, Lovers Reverse. So there, I don't know if it's something to do with uh, somebody uh, on a sexual in a sexual contract. This is a contract of some sort. Could be breaking a contract. Next card out is the Page of Pentacles. There's some sort of disharmony. There's a detachment. There's a lack of compatibility here. Fighting perhaps in, in, or a split, a separation. Um, five of Cups reversed. I think there's a new prospect here. Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands, very, very lusty devil. So we definitely have sexual things on the table here. Sexual energy, sexual desires, lust, maybe obsession, uh, infatuation maybe even. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The world reversed. And the star reversed. That's your wish not being granted. So there's something that is going on here. Hate to give you this message. Um, I feel like there's a there's a hostile situation and there's some sort of crime that is being exposed. Somebody's been hiding something. They've been um, there's been some sort of betrayal. There's been some sort of battle. This could be all out war as well. I wonder if there's been some sort of unfaithfulness and you know somebody gets caught in a battle. You know happens you know um i feel like we have a partnership here that is separating very first card out is the lovers reverse it's a separation there's 
there's fighting here. There's somebody is giving deep thought or they have given deep thought to a relationship. Next card out is the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. There's worry that's, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Somebody invested in something that they thought was going to grow and it turns out to be a dead end. This is unrealistic, very dissatisfied. We have somebody here that is in a partnership where there's not enough, I can't get no satisfaction. You know, I can't get no, maybe it's no, maybe there's no passion, there's no sex. I'm just being honest with you. Um, I feel like there's, there's, uh, and so somebody could be, be being unfaithful, you know, to get their desires met. We definitely have desires here. And I don't like to bring that all up in the reading like this, but it is what it is. It's very prominent, okay? Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is going through a new doorway. They're going down a new path. They're... And I feel like it's because they have this strong, fierce desire to just do something. The very middle card in the present is the Knight of Wands that's taking action, perhaps without thinking. Um, and there could, they could, somebody here may end up with regrets for taking action without thinking, you know. They have these, these carnal desires. Right next to that is the devil. Okay, right next to that knight of wands is the devil. So that is a desire. It's, it's infatuation. It's obsession. It's needs. It's instant gratification. We have somebody here that is looking for instant gratification. It feels like they don't, with the five of swords, this is no moral conscience. We may have somebody here that doesn't have any moral conscience. They don't care who they hurt. There could be some re repercussions, some consequences with that, that scales card. I feel like uh, we have somebody here that was hoping for a partnership. They were hoping for a union with an individual that, I don't know if this person is already in a commitment, or but well, that's what it looks like to me. But anyhow, um, or they, or, or there's just if, if that's not the case, there's just there's just some sort of uh, lack of success, flogging a dead horse, living in the present, um, not taking care of it, not taking care of it. Seven of Pentacles reversed, not nurturing it. Somebody is not nurturing a partnership, so I feel like whoever it is that is being neglected is going through a new doorway. I mean, that's what I got here. And I think it's happening. I think things are going to happen fast. I think things are going to... So there's going to be some fast forward movement at the end of the month. The world card reversed is not learning a lesson. Um, flogging a dead horse. Living in the present. Staying in the present. Needing to step into the future. But refusing to do so. <coughs> not learning a lesson. Investing in something. Somebody has done something without thinking. And it's not going to end on a successful note. They did it too fast. They moved. They did it too fast. Five of Cups reverse in the future. That is... It's in reverse, so that could be prolonged grief, but it could also be focusing on the future, leaving the past behind, uh, going down that new path. So some of you may have already separated with somebody that was unfaithful. Some somebody was unfaithful. There could this the lovers card is a separation. Okay, it's it's a it's a detachment from a partnership where there's obviously a lack of passion or a lack of reciprocation or a lack of nurturing. Um, that may have already happened. That could definitely be in the past. But I feel like there's definitely a new doorway here that is opening. That is, it, it seems to be very passionate. I feel like it's a fresh start. It's, it's, it, it, it's definitely gratifying. Okay, it, it's gonna bring some sort of strong gratification with it. But I do feel like you need to beware. I feel like you need to be beware because if you're jumping, if you're running, if you're leaping. This may not be exactly what you are looking for. This may not be the partnership that you are compatible with if you're in a hurry. It feels like we got somebody here that is in a hurry. They're in a, they're in a big hurry. And it feels like it's because they're trying to uh, bury their pain. They're trying to bury their pain, you know, uh, over the loss of whoever it is that maybe broke their heart or something like that. Ah, the star card reversed. Lack of wish fulfillment. 
Why is this happening? Why is this happening? So we get that twice here in this reading. Something is happening. There's some sort of toxic behavior, impulsive behavior. Uh, somebody is doing something impulsively. And I feel like there's going to be some consequences for that. I don't know if there's a battle, if there's a fight, if there's a, because of the five of swords, there's some sort of uh, situation that happens where, you know, the law gets involved. Um, this is a lack of success. Flogging a dead horse. You should have thought about it. Somebody should have thought. They should have thought before they acted, but they didn't. The Knight of Wands right in the middle, that is that is acting without thinking. So I feel like uh, it's like running in a new direction that is not healthy. This is definitely unhealthy behavior. We may even have some addictions here that are driving somebody. You know, they're, they're driving somebody in the wrong direction. Um, star card reversed. Lack of hope. Why is this happening? Self-doubt. Don't believe. Lack of faith. There's no faith. And disbelief. This is disbelief. I feel like we have somebody here that is acting recklessly. And I feel like it's because they're hurt over a separation. They're hurt over a breakup or something. I feel like you really, really, really need to not go backwards. You need to move forwards. Focus on the future. Do not look backwards, please. Please. I feel like you need to uh, go down a new path. I think that you ha you're going to be given an opportunity for that is stable, that is solid, that is secure. But it's not going to be easy. For some of you, it may have to do with addictions or it has to do with... You know, a new opportunity that is not the one that caused you so much stress. Because I see a lot of stress here. A lot. Um, the devil is, is, is lust right next to that knight of wands. We have lust here. This is this this is just lust. There's no love in these cards. I feel like you're receiving an offer or you're giving an offer to somebody. This person may already be in a partnership. And I feel like you need to be very 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 careful. I do feel like you are in a position of power, though. There's something about you. There's some, some sort of attraction. There's somebody here that is very attracted to you. But it will not end in success because this person, this person um, is just trying to, I don't know if they're trying, somebody's just trying to, you know, have sex. Whether it's this now, this could be for your person. Maybe it's not you. You could be dealing with somebody that you have been in a partnership with that is having sex with somebody else. There's there's a lot of sexual energy here. The world card reverse is no success. Not learning from mistakes. Focusing on the past. Staying in the present or in the past. You know, needing to step into the future. I feel as though you need to deal with some sort of obsession of your own or whatever this addiction is. I mean, it's a sexual addiction. We may have a sexual addiction. We keep talking about sex. So this definitely has to do with sex. So I feel like there's some sort of addiction here that needs to be dealt with. Whether And it doesn't. It could be drinking because we have a lot of cups. The five of cups is right above it. It could be a drinking situation. Somebody needs to deal with their addiction to have wish fulfillment, okay? You need to deal, somebody needs to deal, whatever their addiction is, they have, and maybe it's just codependency, you know, not wanting to be alone. The devil can represent codependency. It is, it does represent codependency. So there's something, there's something here that you are codependent on that you need to find your mental strength to break free from if you want wish fulfillment. Otherwise, you're just going to have trouble because that caution tape is trouble. It's trouble. Whenever you see yellow caution tape, you know it ain't good. So I feel like there's some sort of baggage or burden that you're carrying that you need to let go of. 
the, it feels like you're trying to do too much. You're, you're, you're carrying a heavy load. There's something that you definitely need to let go of. For some of you, it's, it's just about letting go of, of that load. Anyhow, um, Seven of Pentacles reversed is unrealistic, dissatisfied, um, no success. This is not, this is not what, this is not wish fulfillment. That's the last row here. You know, this is not, this is not what you asked for, but it may look really, 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 really attractive to you. I feel like there is somebody that is coming in right around you. Somebody is coming toward you. This person is attractive. Okay. You're attractive. And you are, this is a test. Okay. It is definitely a test. There is somebody around you that is, you are going to feel a magnetic pull to. It is a strong one. It is a very strong one. I feel like this person's going to make you an offer. Okay, they're going to make you an offer. I feel like it seems like it's a real solid, stable offer with this Page of Pentacles. But this is somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience or they quit, you know, when the going gets rough. I feel like this could be a one night stand or it's somebody that doesn't stick around. I feel like there, this, there's going to be regrets for engaging with this person. Okay, I just got to be honest with you. Um, you're going to receive it whether it's whether it's a sexual advance or it's another offer, whatever it, it could be. Something that you are passionate about. Somebody offers you something. You know, it doesn't have to be sexual. Maybe it's something materialistic. Okay, because the devil could be materials, could be drugs, could be alcohol. Okay, it's something that you want. Okay, you're going to get some, somebody's going to make you an offer. It looks really, 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 really good. That good. Okay, it's not something you should take because it's not going to lead to wish fulfillment. And you will wish that you didn't take it. This person, I feel, will not really invest. They will not really take care of the situation. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. They will leave or, or they will withdraw just as quickly as they offered it. They may even be after your money, okay? Um, I think that you need to be extremely careful. One more card. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right in the middle. So I think my guess is it's another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. I feel like there's going to be, there could be some serious regrets for engaging in this instant gratification. King of Swords. Now, King of Swords is a person that is in a position of authority. And we got the position of authority card here. And at this moment, I think that you're going to have to be, if you, if you want to be in this position, you need to make a logical decision. You need to make a smart decision. You need to make a wise decision. Otherwise, somebody's going to make it for you. Okay, so this could be this could be somebody in law enforcement. This could be a judge, and I do feel like there's for some of you there's a judge involved here. You could be dealing with somebody that uh, I don't know. They're after your money. Be careful. Do not invest in this partnership that is. It looks so good though. I think this is a test. It is a test. It's a test of your value. It's a test of your knowledge. It's a test of your willpower. It's a test of your uh, integrity with the Page of Pentacles. Whoever you're dealing with has another person that they are working with and they are, I feel like they're trying to deceive you and I don't even need any cards to say that. I feel like you, look at this where I got it. You need to use your head. I got it right on my, you need to use your head. Be wise. Be open-minded. Investigate whoever it is 
that you are dealing with because I feel like there is some challenging information that is coming. You need to use discernment. You need to be smart. You need to be wise. There is a decision that is, you know, I feel like the law is getting involved as well. I think that you need to protect yourself. You are dealing with a very cunning, smart individual that I feel like, and I don't even need any cards. I feel like you got somebody here who's got some ulterior motives. This person is not your friend. Um, you could be, this is somebody that deserts you in the time of need. You could be dealing with a father figure. Could be Aries. You also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody that is untrustworthy. This is somebody that is does things illegal. This is a corrupt leader. You know that it may be in a position of authority. Maybe they have control. They have some sort of power over you. You've given it to them, and boom! Well, wow, they're going to take advantage of it. I think that you need to be very aware. This is somebody that does not have your back. Some of you could even be dealing with a narcissist. Uh, this is somebody that is very controlling, um, only cares about themselves, cares, looks out for number one and number one only. I feel like we have somebody here that is trying, it's a masculine energy that is trying to uh, control a situation. This is somebody that is very dominating. They will do anything to win. They will do anything to get what they want. And this is somebody that is very materialistic. Somebody is definitely after what you have, and there it's, it feels like it's a narcissist. You know, they'll, they'll take the sex, they'll take the money, they'll take whatever they can get, and then they'll desert you. Oh. I'm sorry, and good luck.